All right, let's review how to make a basic part. Click on File. Go down to New, move over down to Part. Click once. Click on Start 2D Sketch. If you accidentally hit the drop down, just make sure you select 2D Sketch, not 3D Sketch. If you hover right here, you will uh, the XY plane will turn green. You can sketch on any plane. I'm going to sketch on the XY plane. I'm going to use my line tool. Click once. Drag, click, drag, click, drag, click, drag. I'm going to turn off my line tool by hitting the escape key. Turn on my dimension tool. Click on the vertical line and put in whatever dimension there is. Uh, the shape goes off screen, so I'm going to click the word front. Kind of recenters things. Use my scroll wheel to zoom out. By the way, if you press the scroll wheel, you can pan. Right now I'm holding the scroll wheel down like a button. My dimension tool is on, so I can click the other direction. Okay. And I'll turn off my dimension tool by hitting escape. If you need to modify the dimension, you wouldn't turn your dimension tool back on because you already have a dimension. You would just simply uh, double click or even right click and um, you could select dimension properties. No, don't do that. Just double click on it. And then you could change it to whatever you want. Okay, when you're done with your sketch, you hit finish sketch. Now we want to save this sketch, right? Um, so you hit File, Save As, and then you come up here to where it says This PC, and you should see the H drive, your name, underneath This PC and the H drive. You want to save it in the H drive, but you want to make sure that you put a title. If this was the front piece, you would label it front. If it was the bottom piece, you would label it uh, bottom. But I, I'm going to be more specific about my location. So I'm going to I'm going to say uh, documents and inventor, and then I'm going to say uh, I'm going to create a new new uh, folder called organizer, and then I'll hit save. Okay, now if I want to make this piece 3D, I would hit extrude. And then I would go to the center of the shape. It looks like it's already popped out. But I only want the distance to be 125 thousandths of an inch. That's an eighth of an inch. Because that's thick, how thick our wood is. Hit OK. And there it is. Again, if you mess up and you go need to modify your sketch, you can hit the plus sign. And there's the sketch. You would right click on sketch and hit edit sketch. And now you can go modify your dimensions. Once they're good, hit the check mark. If you messed up in terms of how much it was extruded, you could right click on extrusion one and select edit feature. And then you could modify how much you extruded it. And then when you're done fixing it, hit OK. And then don't forget file, save as. And now notice I'm in the organizer folder. Always know where your folder is, right? You guys should be saving to the H drive so that you can use any computer and still find your stuff. So I'm in the organizer file, front, hit save. I'm going to replace it because I don't want, oh, it says cannot save the same as an open document. So it just won't let me. So I have to give it a different name, say version two. 
and now I'm good to go.